Start clapping your hands. I want blue signs in the air for our dream team, our dynamic duo, our senators, John Ossoff and Reverend Raphael Warnock. Oh yeah, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Atlanta. We are so honored to serve you and so pleased to join you. And you know, on the plane down here, Senator Warnock and I were talking about this. Don't know if y'all heard about it, but apparently Donald Trump is too scared to debate the vice president. Too scared. Now, I don't know, I don't know if you all remember this from back in 2020, but I know about having an opponent who's too scared to debate. And let me tell you, Atlanta, the candidate dodging debates is the candidate who is losing. Right now, Donald Trump is imagining how it will feel to stand up facing a formidable, prepared, tough-as-nails prosecutor, U.S. Senator, Vice President, He's not prepared to defend his record because he cannot defend his record. Atlanta, can he defend overturning Roe v. Wade? Can he defend disparaging and belittling American veterans and POWs? Can he defend being found liable by a jury for sexual abuse? Can he defend raising a mob that attacked the U.S. Capitol? No. Can he defend trying to discard the votes of millions of Americans? President tried to discard the votes of American citizens, that was a direct attack on the right to vote. And Congressman Lewis reminded us when he told us about Bloody Sunday, March 7th, 1965, Selma, Alabama, the height of the struggle for voting rights. John Lewis, just 25 years old, just 25 years old. strong 
They marched down Highway 80 from Selma toward Montgomery till they reached the Edmund Pettus Bridge and then into a wall of state troopers, billy clubs, and tear gas, the congressmen, and Amelia Boynton, and dozens more, beaten unconscious. They broke his skull for daring to demand the right to vote. They didn't just march, they risked their lives, fighting for a future where no matter the color of our skin, every citizen could vote. Every citizen. Well, Georgia, you have proven again and again the power of your vote, even when they've counted it out. They said that we couldn't win. But then three years ago, you picked me up and you picked Raphael up and you carried us on your shoulders. to Georgia, you elected to the U.S. Senate a black pastor who holds Dr. King's pulpit at Ebenezer Baptist Church and a young Jewish son of an immigrant to represent you in the United States Senate. You did that, Georgia. Well, Georgia, in three months, the whole nation will look to us again, and we will elect Kamala Harris, the next Trump and JD Vance. These are these are these are strange men with dangerous ideas. You know, Maya Angelou said, when someone shows you who they are. Believe them the first time. Believe them the first time. Georgia, once again, it's up to us to ensure there's no second time. So Georgia, are you ready to work? <laughs>